Um, well, it seems that uh, Rabindranath Tagore uh, visited the Bauhaus in Weimar in May 1921 and uh, uh, met uh, Johannes Itten, one of the teachers at the Bauhaus. Um, and that was probably the reason, no, that was probably the catalyst for the exhibition. Well, essentially it was uh, divided into three sections. Um, the first uh, contained work by uh, the Bengali artists. There was about 240 works of art there from about 60 different artists. The second section uh, was work by the Bauhaus artists. Uh, about 170 to 180 artworks there, including work by two students. Um, and then the third section uh, was uh, about 70 artworks from uh, a French artist called André Carpules. What is noticeable about the Indian section is how all the artists are, are really sort of lumped together as a group. Um, and whilst there are some who have, you know, uh, slightly greater numbers of artworks at the exhibition and are put together um, uh, accordingly, um, the vast majority are all mixed in together, um, and there doesn't seem to be much rationale to the to the way the exhibition was was set out. Predominantly, the work in the um, Indian section. Of, of the exhibition was, was Bengal school uh, style work uh, from people like Kasidanath Majumda, um, uh, from the Indian primitivist uh, Sunyani Devi. Um, we also have work from uh, the Pakistani architect Abdul Rahman Chugtai, uh, and less well known art artists like Biraswa Sen uh, was also there. Perhaps the most significant artist in the Indian section was uh, Gagendranath Tagore. Um, he had about 25 artworks at the exhibition um, and the most expensive uh, item was, was one of his uh, artworks called House of Mystery. Um, again, this is quite a significant signal, I think, um, for the exhibition. It was uh, Tagore was seen as a, um, a kind of modernising influence in Indian art. Um, what is uh, obvious and very different about the Bauhaus section um, uh, of, of the exhibition is that uh, all the artists are, are listed out separately. They all have their artwork displayed um, you know, on, on their own. Lionel Feininger uh, submitted uh, about 35 artworks for the exhibition. Um, and a, a wide range of work really from his early days as an artist in 1910 right through to 1922. We have seminal pieces like The Disparagers uh, was at the exhibition um, and uh, quite a lot of, uh, of, of typically sort of cubist expressionist uh, woodcuts. Johannes Itten submitted a number of typically expressionist um, uh, figure drawings, uh, some abstract um, work, charcoal drawings, as well as kind of more traditional um, pieces like um, uh, woodland flowers. Kandinsky submitted just four watercolours for the exhibition. He joined the Bauhaus in, in, in June 1922, so it's likely not to have had a great deal of work um, on offer at the time. Uh, and it's difficult to speculate uh, about uh, exactly what artwork he would have submitted, but the 1921 uh, watercolour would likely have been more sort of geometric and uh, abstract than the, than the earlier pieces. Paul Clay uh, submitted uh, nine watercolours um, that are uh, really divided into two types. There are the, the faces and masks uh, like Herz Dama um, or the Queen of Hearts and, um, uh, or, and the colour gradation pictures um, like Stars Over the Temple 
um, which is really inspired by his uh, trip to North Africa um, in 1914. Gerd Marx submitted uh, a whole range of um, woodcuts, um, expressionist woodcuts, um, really inspired by um, uh, German medieval traditions. Uh, and the countryside and life around Weimar at the time. Georg Mucha submitted um, uh, a number of etchings, uh, typically uh, very, uh, with very spiritual themes to them, uh, from his um, Cogito Ergo series, I Think Therefore I Believe, and uh, other pieces like um, The Moon. Uh, Lothar Schreyer submitted uh, a number of uh, rhythm studies and uh, colour sound studies. He uh, had a very similar, um, or had very similar ideas on, on colour to uh, Vasily Kandinsky. And he also submitted um, uh, woodcuts from his director's score to his play uh, Koitigon or Crucifixion. Yeah, what, what is clear is that um, the Bauhaus artists who drew from other sources outside Europe and out, outside their own particular um, historical period um, were still thought of as being uh, modern artists, um, whereas artists from uh, India like Gagindra Tagore um, who drew from Western sources um, were seen as being um, uh, un-Indian uh, and or not, not Indian enough and of being uh, almost weak copies of, of Western artists. And that's, that's, that's disappointing. <laughs>